to the Moxie Roller Skates YouTube channel. Are you here to learn how to shoot the ducks? Well, you're in the right place. Come with me. In today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to shoot the duck. Whoa, don't get any wrong ideas here. There are no guns, there are no ducks. We're not gonna be shooting anything. Um, in fact, does anyone know where that name stems from? Um, I don't, but that's what the trick is called. So today, that's what I'm going to teach you. But uh, stay with me here because all that's involved are roller skates. No ducks are harmed in the making of this video. Um, so let's just get to it. Usually when you shoot the duck, you're going to do it on concrete or wood, someplace that your wheels can roll on. But if you want to ease into this trick, I'm going to teach you how to do it on grass. And if you're at home, you can do it on your carpet as well. Both of these um, areas won't allow you to roll. So you can just get comfortable with the steps before you do the rolling aspect of it. All right, step one is gonna be squatting low to the ground. Let's shoot the duck. You're basically coming from a standing position to a squat low to the ground, and you just wanna get comfortable with going up and down. Especially with going out of shoot the duck, you're gonna go from a squat to standing back up. So we just wanna get comfortable with that feeling. As far as our stance, we wanna make sure we have one foot in front and one behind just staggered like the normal. That way if we fall or trip, we just have a leg that can save us. You can put your lead foot in front or your lead foot behind. I currently have my lead foot in front. So we're just gonna come from our staggered stance position and we're just gonna try to get as low to the ground as we can. And you might have your foot, depending on how you have your feet, you might have them a little closer, you might have it a little farther. Either is fine, you just wanna make sure they're staggered out. So we'll just go from standing and we'll squat as low to the ground as we can get. We'll stand up and we'll squat back low. And if you can't get your butt super low to the ground, that's okay. There are some people that can do that. There are some people that can't. I literally have a body that's built that cannot allow me to get my butt to the floor. So if you can't do that, that's totally okay. Step two is gonna be shooting your leg out. So we're gonna come down from our stance. We're gonna be squatted and we wanna get comfortable shooting our leg out bringing it back in and you can stand back up. You want to do this action a couple times until you feel comfortable because you're going to be doing this while rolling. So what that looks like again is we're going to squat down, we're going to shoot our leg out, squat back and bring it back up. One thing to say about the balance, you're going to be shifting your balance when you get to that second step. So when you bring whichever leg out that you have, in my instance, I'm bringing my right leg out, you're going to be shifting all that weight into your left leg. So you're almost going to be leaning into it a little bit. Think like you're leaning into your butt kind of. So you're leaning into that left butt cheek. And then once we go into the further steps, you're going to be utilizing your arm to then hold that leg to bring it back and shift it over. And that's going to be step three. Step three is grabbing your foot with your hand. So we're coming from a stance and we're squatting. We're gonna shoot our foot out and now we're going to grab our foot and we're going to lift it up. A couple key things about this is that your balance is gonna be shifting within these three steps. So we're going from a squatted position with both of our feet on the ground and our balance is, you know, um, equalized out. Then we're shifting all our balance into our left foot as we, whoops, as we pop our foot out, most of our balance is gonna be in our knee or in our butt. And then when we grab our foot, we're gonna be utilizing that to balance herself out. So you just wanna make sure that you are utilizing those ways to shift balance back and forth, but in this step, you'll end up, you know, balancing it out. When shooting the duck, there's a few different styles that you can do it. It's more about preference. You can either leave your foot on the ground and you can allow your wheels to roll you through with your foot extended out, or you can grab it with your hand and lift your foot up. It's all about what you wanna do and what you can do. There's no right or wrong way. So now we're moving on to the concrete. And at this part, this is where we're gonna get into the rolling. But also at this part, your legs might feel a little burnt out. They might feel a little tired. And that's totally okay because I pretty much just tricked you into doing some exercise. And that was a lot of squats. So if you need to take a break, if you need to stretch your legs, please do that because that's really important. And you know, unpause this video when you're ready. So now that we're on the concrete, I'm gonna show you all three steps, but rolling. So let me show you. The first step that we did was squatting it out in a staggered stance. 
So we're gonna squat, try to get as low as we can, get our butt to the floor and stand back up. The second step, we're gonna squat down, we're gonna shoot our foot out, we're gonna balance our weight into our other foot, we're gonna bring it back in, stand back up. Now the third step is grabbing that foot if you would like to advance to that level. So we're gonna come from standing, we're gonna squat down, shoot our leg out, and now grab our foot and bring it up. And those are the three steps. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but rolling. You don't have to do a really big roll. You don't have to go fast. You can honestly go slow when you're doing this. So we're just gonna push off a little bit. We're gonna squat down. We're gonna put our foot out and we're gonna grab. And that's how you shoot the duck. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the opposite angle. the last and final step is gonna be standing back up from shoot the duck. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna talk it out while we do it so that way you can see and hear at the same time. So now we're shooting the duck. You can either roll your wheels on the ground, squat it out and stand it back up, or you can utilize this hand to bring your foot back in, squat and then stand on up. Either way is totally good. There's no right or wrong way. So whatever makes sense to you is the right way. When you're doing shoot the duck, there's a couple things that could go wrong. Not too many, but let me show you. So when we're getting low, whether we're rolling or not, we could accidentally trip and fall on our butt. It's not the end of the world because we're already low to the ground that you really just want to let your feet go out and you just want to go on your butt. Mainly, I would say you want to let your butt take most of it. You don't really want to like put your arms back. You don't want to put your arms down. You just kind of want to spread your feet out and let your the bottom half of your body take the brunt of it. That's the first way that this could go wrong. So the other thing that could happen while you're shooting the duck is that maybe you fumble your foot and you go forward, you land on your knees. Now we have a YouTube video by Missy that tells you how to knee slide. If you're wearing your knee pads or you're not, you're gonna wanna go ahead and check out that video. Now, depending on how fast you're going really depends on how much this might hurt you. But if you're not going too fast, you've got wrist guards on, you can put your, you can knee slide out of it or you can just stop yourself. You wanna make sure that your arms aren't straight. Like always, you really wanna give a good bend in it so you're not putting any brunt in your elbows or in your arm in general. But just like you saw, I wasn't going very fast and I stopped myself without harm. So from here, you just wanna, gonna get back up and try again. And that was it, five EV, what am I saying? Five EV steps. And that was it, five easy steps on how to shoot the duck. And like I said, I don't know why they call it that, but that's what it's called. Just make sure not to harm any ducks while you're doing this trick. Have a great day. Thanks for coming to the Moxie YouTube channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.